right, we are going to get started on a valley swing dress. So I'm going to be making today a um, an adult dress length with tank top bands. So I've got my two side panel, well the color block also. <laughs> so I've got my two side panel pieces, a neck band, two arm bands, and then a front and a back bodice. And then I've also got pins and clips because, well, pins and clips because I like to kind of switch between the two depending on my mood. So let's go ahead and get moving. We are going to start by sewing the shoulder seams together. So you want to take your back bodice piece and lay it out with the right side facing up. And then we're going to take our front bodice piece and we're going to align our shoulder seams to one another with the right sides facing down and then add a clip or two on each shoulder shoulder seam shoulder seam <laughs> and we are off to the races so we're just going to be sewing both of these with a half inch seam allowance. All right, we've got our shoulder seams sewn. And if this were a, uh, a sleeved dress, then we would be adding the sleeves right now. But since it is a tank, we are going to be going straight to sewing up the side seams. So we're gonna keep our right sides together and we're going to match from the underarm to uh, the bottom of this side seam right here. Now, since we're doing a color block option, it's hard to see because I have a full adult size here. Um, the, the pattern piece is gonna look a little funny. Um, so we're gonna be doing a pretty short side seam because we're gonna be adding the color block panel right here. So again, just match your side seam Add a couple clips or pins. We're gonna be doing a half an inch seam allowance on both of these sides here. So right sides together. We're gonna to be lining up our side seam from underarm to the bottom of this hem, which hits right at your waist. and we're gonna head to the sewing machine and sew those both up. We are moving right along. We're going to be adding the color block panel now to the side of each of these, um, well, each side of the dress. Uh, the way that I like to do it, first of all, I always make sure when I cut out my panel piece and really anything that kind of is on the fold, um, and I mark the center, so it's already marked for me when I'm cutting it, but if you haven't done that yet, just fold your piece in half and put a pin or a clip right in that center fold because that is going to be matching up exactly with this side hem right here. So how I have it laid out, um, I just, so here's the dress inside out, right? So I just like to open it up and put the side hem right here facing me and kind of just flip the rest of the U <laughs> um, up away from me. So when I just align everything, it, it, it goes together. So I'm gonna be taking where I have it clipped for that middle marking, and I'm gonna clip it straight to this side hem where these where you just sewed. And then, I'm gonna shimmy down to the corner here of, again, this side panel, and I'm going to match it up to the corner over on the dress main piece. I'm gonna do it on the other side too. And then, since we've got two curves that are kind of working against each other, which I end up working with each other, <laughs> we're gonna just start pinning and easing all of these curves into one another so it lays nice and flat. Everything is matched nicely. And when we head to our serger or sewing machines, then we've got a nice even 
hem. Now this, um, these side panels are a one to one ratio, so there should be no stretching involved. And, but you just need to fudge it a little bit just to get the pieces to match each other since we are working with a seam allowance on top of it. So there's that. I'm gonna work on the second half here. So again, you just kind of, kind of fidget with them until they all go together nicely. And there's that. And so now we're going to be sewing this big U starting at one corner all the way up and then down and using it at a half inch seam allowance. And then we're gonna go and do the exact same thing on the other side of the skirt, just like we did. So we're gonna attach it and then sew it up. Okay, we have the whole side seam or side panel on both sides of the dress sewn and it's looking pretty cute. Um, so the last step that we need to do in terms of sewing is we need to add a neck band and then of course our armbands to finish the tank. So we're going to just set this aside for a sec. Go ahead and grab our armband. Now what you're going to do is take this long skinny piece and you're going to fold it in half right sides together matching the short ends and then what i like to teach is my trick but it's something that you don't have to do at all you can just sew this and then flip the uh, casing into itself or you can fold this in half again and sew on this folded edge and I'll show you when I flip it out why I prefer to do that it just kind of it creates one seam and it just folds it nicer for me but again if you want to you can just sew this edge and then do the folding afterwards whichever thing works best for you so I'm just gonna go ahead and sew this and I hope you can see here's our folded sewn piece the reason why I like to do it is because all I have to do is just flip it right side out and it perfectly encases this one seam and it gives it just again one seam instead of two folded upon itself and then um you just want to fold it so the right sides are out or the wrong sides are facing each other and now we're going to be adding just uh pins to mark the quarter points and we're going to be doing this on our neck band all on our neck band and also our arm bands so if you want to do all of this at once that's a great so <laughs> The one quarter point that we're gonna start with is the seam that we have, which is an easy find. And then the reason why I like to use pins here is because I feel like it's more accurate for finding quarters. So here we are on the hat on the quarter here, and then we're gonna mark it on the complete opposite side. And then we're gonna open it up and fold it the opposite way and match your seam and your pin that, or the clip that you just put in there and find your other quarter markings. So we're gonna add a pin here and then I'm going to add a pin here. And then we're gonna set this aside for just a sec. So we're gonna grab our dress. We're gonna take our neckline here. We're going to open it up and match the sleeve seams to be able to find a middle back. and a middle front. And then we're gonna locate our quarter points by aligning those two pins that we just added. Kind of laying this out, don't stretch your fabric out, but you just wanna kind of figure it out. So, and you'll notice that the seam is not a quarter point. So don't use that as a, as a rep point of reference for these pins. You can use it when you're trying to find the front and back, but it is not a quarter point. Your neck band will be super wonky if you do it that way. So here we are adding another pin. And so now we have our four 
quarter points of our neckline. We're gonna grab our neck band and we're gonna match everything up. So that seam is gonna go in the back. This front pin, we're gonna take one out and pin it together. And you wanna do this on the right side of the fabric. So you want right sides facing each other. And we're gonna match up our two side pieces here. Side points maybe, <laughs> side markings. Words are hard when you're filming, I would say. And then we're gonna add, we're gonna put our side markings on this one also. And you will notice that the neck band is slightly smaller than the neck opening. And that's on purpose because it just helps the neck band to lay more flat against your body. So we are going to have to stretch the neck band ever so slightly. Don't stretch the neck opening of your dress, just the neck band to get it flat and even while you're sewing. We're gonna sew all the way around at a half inch seam allowance. All right, we are attached to our neckline and you're just gonna flip that neck band up. And um, I'm gonna wait until the very end, but you can do it now. You can um, steam and press your neckline. And then if you like, add a top stitch. I love to add a top stitch to my necklines. It just creates a little bit nicer of a uh, I, I don't know, of a finish. I, I appreciate it more that way. <laughs> so all that's left in terms of attaching is we're going to add the armbands just like we did the neck band. So you're going to take your neck band or armband piece, fold it in half, meeting the short ends to each other, and then fold it if you want in half again and stitch to create a band and then flip it out. Add our quarter markings. And to be honest with you, with the armbands, I actually find it easier to just do half because these are pretty darn close to half on where it is on the sleeve openings with the, <laughs> the seams. So we're gonna add this and we're gonna match it up straight at the top here. And then it's just slightly off. We're gonna add it to the bottom here. We're gonna sew and stretch the band only just a little bit and sew at a half inch seam allowance. Our first armband is attached. You just flip it out and we're gonna do literally the exact same thing on the opposite side. All okay, right, we're gonna mark our halfway. Mark it on the dress. And then we are going to go sew. Flip that neck band or armband out and we did it. We've got two armbands, we've got a neck band, we've got uh, side panels. The only thing we have left to do is steam press and hem. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run a top stitch along the neck band, the armbands, and then I'm going to, at a half inch seam allowance, we're going to be hemming the entire bottom of the skirt. And once I'm finished, we'll be back and we'll have a completed, adorable, valley swing dress. Y'all, we are totally finished. I added my top stitch to my armbands and my neck band, and I've got a nice uh, half inch hem allowance on the bottom of my dress, and it is ready to be worn. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being interested in my new pattern. And I am so excited to see what you make with it. Have a great day.